Maybe you remember this sound. It's the unmistakable sound of the disappearing propeller boat, or Dispro, or DP, or most commonly, Dippy. This is the annual regatta of the Disappearing Propeller Boat Owners Association. The association is a mixture of club and support group. Don't you know how to work a boat now? Has the Dippies been best described as a source of exasperation, pride, annoyance, and devotion? The boat was produced from 1915 until the 50s, but most were made in the 1920s. The boat was made possible by the development of lightweight gasoline engines and the perfection of the ingenious device that gives the boat its name, the disappearing propeller. The device allows the operator to lift the propeller up into a housing. This gives the boat the ability to go almost anywhere a canoe can go, as the boat will still move with as little as an inch of propeller blade sticking out the bottom. As a further bonus, the whole contraption will retract itself automatically if you strike a log or a shoal, usually. The engine and device give the roly-poly hull a low center of gravity, which leads to remarkable performance in rough water. The basic Dispro design is just about perfect for Muskoka waters, and the bulk of the boats were built in Port Carling, but shipped all over the world. Owning a dippy ensures that you will never have nothing to do. Fortunately, most dippy ills can be fixed with a little wire, rope, and plumbing packing. String Even with around. several minor problems, the boats will still run, which gives them the unusual reputation of being simultaneously cantankerous and ultra-reliable. Over the years of production, dippies were fitted with several different engines, mostly single-cylinder, and each with their own personalities. Starting this 1920s silent dispro is simplicity itself. With the gas and ignition turned on, the mixture richened a little bit, not too much, steal a little gas from the carburetor. Pour that into the prime cup. Suck it into the engine. And close the prime cup. Don't forget to tweak the timing. Now you give it a little flip. And another little flip. In operation, the throttle is fixed, and the engine's speed is controlled solely by spark timing. Advancing the timing speeds up the engine. Advancing the timing too much too soon makes the engine backfire and run backwards. It's a feature. Fancier models have remote controls for these functions, but still require the same amount of flipping. This is the electric start St. Lawrence engine. This is the two-cylinder Coventry Victor midget. This is an imitation of the Coventry Victor midget. The last disappearing propeller boat was produced in 1958. The most often cited reason for their demise was the invention and perfection of the outboard motor. For various inherent design reasons, the Dispro couldn't make use of a larger engine and propeller, and was unable to putt into the second half of the century. In their efforts to sell boats, the company often stretched the truth a bit, but one advertising claim remains undisputed by anyone who's ever had a ride in one. They are truly the greatest little motorboat afloat. <laughs>